These are two examples of uh, marsh scenes that I paint. And I've painted quite a few marsh scenes. And as you've, if you've ever been on the water, you know that everyone has its own distinctive things about it. And um, the difference in these two is this one, um, although they are different spots, this one is done with a palette knife, which is entirely different than using a brush. The, um, this area in here is more from, we have an area out here called the sandbar. And when the, when the low tide comes, comes about, hundreds of boats go to the sandbar and these people are all over there. And there is a little area behind the sandbar where the kids used to go and they would um, play in the water and stuff behind it. So this is sort of behind the sandbar over there, but it's done in a pallet knife. And then this one here is more of a, uh, more like where we go crab. You don't crab out in the middle of the river. You go up in these sneaky little areas and you find your spot and everybody has their special spot and you don't dare tell anybody. So I can't tell you where this is. But these are little avenues and they you have to go at the right time or you're gonna get stuck. But you go way up in the back and nobody can really see in the back because your the marsh grass is up above your head. But I do paint a lot of the marsh scenes and I love I love looking out over at the marsh. And they change in the fall in the fall of the year. If you've never been to the Low Country, you'll know that the marsh grass is this bright, bright green in the summer. And it's fun to watch it grow and get brighter. And then in um, September, October, it's going to start disappearing and the brown will start coming back. So this one's kind of coming and going in here. And this one's more in the summertime, the way the um, marsh grass would look.